Yo, what's going on, my amigos, my amigas? Hope everyone's doing fantastic. I mean, I am. I mean, just a few hours ago, I was eating some delicious tacos. Yeah, I am now the CEO of the tacos, but we're not here to talk about that yet. We're here to talk about a video that was recommended to me called Woman Finds Severed Finger in Driveway Next to Slash Tires. And I'm thinking to myself, what could possibly go wrong that you have to slash someone's tires and leave your finger as evidence? I mean, I'm a sad person, you know, I'm a loser. I'm here making videos on the daily, trying to get somewhere in life but i think i found a bigger loser than me this guy slashed some tires and then left his finger as evidence and this is instant karma at its finest this is karma being a you know what at its finest so let's just get into the video let's get the anime backstory let's get the severed finger lord to find out what happened to it all right so let's just get into it this woman says she woke up to a strange scene in her driveway not only were the tires of her vehicle slashed but lying next to one of them was a severed finger. Imagine this, right? It's 7.30 a.m. You're waking your kids up for school. You're like, hey, Jimmy, get ready. I'm going to take you to school today. You walk out and you see this. <laughs> You see your tire slashed, which is that's going to cost you a few hundred dollars and you see a finger I'm sure you could sell the finger in the deep web on the Facebook marketplace Honestly for like I don't know 199 maybe 250 if it has dirt under the nail I don't know, but it's just so weird imagine starting your day like this I think I will throw up honestly, but maybe it's because I'm a little bitch I don't know finger literally been laughing all day because if I don't I think I might cry Francesca Wickoff is a former volunteer firefighter and EMT so she wasn't too grossed out by the sight of a bloody appendage. You would think if you're gonna go to the hospital, especially if you just sever your finger off, that you would take said finger with you. Right? That doesn't make any sense. Let's say I'm the pathetic loser who decided to slash some tires, right? If I lose my finger, if I cut it, because first of all, that's just an L right there. Imagine cutting your own finger while trying to get back at someone. I mean, that's something else. You just gotta hold this L for me, homie. Imagine you cut off your finger and you don't even pick it up to put it in the pickle jar, in the jar, in the water bottle, on ice, until you get to the hospital. This person really, really has room temperature temperature IQ has negative IQ doesn't it make sense to pick up your fucking bloody finger I mean we are talking about someone who slashed someone's tires so you do we really expect anything more of that so what happened according to Francesca she got into a fight with a neighbor the day before she believes that he cut off his finger while in the act of vandalizing her car she says a trail of blood goes from her driveway to his house and it keeps getting better so not only is this guy a fucking idiot you decide to dig yourself a bigger grave slash some tires lose your finger and then you leave a blood trail right to your house this guy is the dumbest criminal i've ever seen in my life if anyone here is planning on robbing anyone or slashing tires which i don't know what you would but if you are this is what not to do not only are you going to get arrested not only are you going to have to pay for those tires you also lost a finger and you're 100 guilty there's no denying it now when the cops come over and they say hey sir um really quickly can we see your 10 fingers please and he has nine or maybe eight we don't know if this guy slashed previous tires before I mean, he's a fucking moron and doesn't even know how to do it correctly we don't know what we do know is that this guy is just an idiot like <laughs> a fucking idiot we assume it happened around 10 30 last night because we had our neighbor across the street that lives next door to him I heard a yell and some crying around 10 30 and then he sped off shortly after police are investigating the incident and no one has been arrested or charged with any crime. But whoever is responsible, it seems they're already paying a price for their actions. I don't find doing anybody hurting themselves. However, karma has a good way of working itself out. <laughs> now, if you're a true sensitive society fan, you will know that I've said multiple times on multiple videos that I don't believe in karma. But after this, you know what? I'm actually starting to believe. <laughs> I'm actually starting to believe karma might be real. I don't know, guys, but yeah, I love karma. I love it when it happens to other people. I don't like it when it happens to me. That's not that's not very bueno, but um, I guess karma is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfect example of it. God damn. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe with notifications on. And big shout out to my channel members for the continued support. You guys legitimately rock. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. This video is probably going to get demonetized because of what I'm talking about. But thanks to the channel memberships, I could, you know, take those hits, if you will. So thank you very much for supporting the channel. And if you can, please consider becoming one. All right, guys, if you ever think about slashing anyone's tire, always think of this video because you don't want to be this fucking loser <laughs> all right guys take care see you